So we'll expand our vocabulary here. We've got a circle, and we'll say this is the center of the circle, with these given arc measurements. The arithmetic is straightforward. I can see there's 290 degrees used up. If I take that away from 360, I'm left with 70, which tells me that this arc here must also be, I'm sorry, this central angle must also be 70. Since these two angles are both 70, I can conclude that the two red arcs have the same measure because arcs that have the same measure are congruent. But there's one thing more. Since these arcs are actually on the same circle, I can extend that to say that the two arcs are congruent. Let's contrast this to the next problem we'll go over. Now to contrast with the earlier problem, we have here a diagram where we've got two arcs, the two red arcs, that have the same arc measure that is the arc angle measure is the same, 85 degrees corresponding with its central angle. However, clearly their lengths are different. Imagine a piece of string having to span from L to P or M to N. It's clear that this one is shorter. And we can see we're using Sketchpad here to demonstrate that, where you can see arc lengths are not equal, even though arc measures are. So in this case, the arcs are not congruent because the arc lengths are not equal. All right, a little vocabulary here, circle centered at P. And we're going to start with a diameter. Diameter, a chord passing through the center. And we're going to give another chord, CD in magenta. And we're going to make that angle right here 20 degrees, or that arc. Um, incidentally, that's also the central angle. APD, central angle, where P is the vertex of the angle and it happens to be the center of the circle. So now let's get on with answering the questions at hand. ACD, that would be the major arc starting at A all the way around to point C. Well it's 360 minus the 20, that'll be 340. So we've got 340 degrees there. Then the other question, the minor arc AC, well that would be the 160 and this 20 because that's described by this semicircle of 180. So it all makes sense there, and we are finished. Now we know that arc measures are additive, and what we mean by this, well, let's just go through this exercise and produce two different answers. I've color-coded our four given arcs here. So we're going to start with AB, 60 degrees. And I'm going to add to that BC. So you can see now that I've got 85 degrees, and I'm going to keep going. Add arc CD, the red arc, and let's add the 20 degree magenta arc. And clearly, I can see that the arc AE is the sum of those four arcs. Now remember though, there was another way to think of this. Let's suppose I started the same way, AB, BC, so I've gone 85 degrees in this direction. Well, who's to say that I need to keep going counterclockwise? Let's reverse direction right here and make the arc CD 70 degrees this way, or if you would, negative 70. And going either way here, I'll go another 20 degrees in the clockwise direction. So that leaves me with the arc of AC, or the gap between A, sorry, AE, that's going to leave me with a simply five degrees. So the arcs are additive, but nobody said they were going in the same direction. Trick question, but a fun one. Okay, we've got an interesting challenge problem here. We're given two different circles. We'll say the purple and the orange circle. And we've got a, um, right here, this common chord AB is perpendicular to the line between the centers. And also we have that this is a tangent segment here. AQ is tangent segment, which means there's a right angle formed up here. So the easiest way to solve this, let's start with a couple facts to measure the central angle. If this is 60 degrees, well, then so is this. This central angle, that would be APB. So APB is 60. And from here, let's go back to last chapter, or two chapters ago, chapter eight, I see a kite. If we take the properties of a kite, of course, these two are radii of the purple circle. These two are radii of the orange circle. And um, 
well, this will just about solve it for us. So let's, let's do this. I'll enlarge the kite itself so we can see this. Since I've got a 90 degree angle here, and I must have a, another 90 degree angle down here. So I've got my 90, my 90, 60, and what's left, the other angle in the quadrilateral must be 120. If this is 120, then that intercepts this arc, and this arc must have a measure, AUB must have a measure of 120 degrees. That's the easiest solution I can see for this one.